Hey everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. Today is going to be a busy Saturday and I got my cup of applesauce to start me off right. First things first, we need to hop into Ford and head down to the main heated shop. Morning, Cole. Morning. Now I'm gonna record for security purposes. <laughs> you know, we got quite a few fields that just the yields just weren't there. If I can kind of find out, figure out your guys' rotation and what you guys are thinking, yeah. that way I can lock you in. And I kind of want to visit about the soil samples. I had to jump out of the seed meeting real quick to meet with the bin movers. Remember the ridiculous quotes we got to move this stuff? They want $42,000 to tear the leg down and put it back up. $28,000 to take the stairs down and put those back up. $42,000 to tear this bin down and put it back up. Well, basically they said it was a really big misunderstanding because they thought it was is going to be a lot more complex move because the guy that came out and did the actual quoting of the stuff was not the guy who built the stuff so he brought the guy who built the stuff so he could actually see it and he's like yeah this is going to be a real simple move so hopefully the bill is cut way down i mean way down today we're uh, saturday we're at cole's house when the windstorm came through blew all these windows out all the way around we're gonna replace them but first we got to uh we got Justin here. This board here, this top board is not level, so we gotta get that level. And then what's the next, what's, what do we have to do after that? Frame that center window in and, and then hopefully them side ones fall in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we don't have a- Easy. Yeah, easy, he said. We don't have a lift this weekend because it's too windy outside and it's supposed to rain. So hopefully next weekend we can frame the windows. But for today, we're just gonna work on the inside here and get them ready so it'll, when we do have nice days, we can throw them up. Unfortunately, the window project got stopped before it even started because the windows come in quarter moon fashion, so two of them make up a half moon. And when the insurance company came up to measure them, they're 46 inches tall and they're 46 inches long on the bottom. So you would assume the rest of the window is 46 inches, but assuming would be the wrong thing to do because the center of the window is actually 41 inches. So they made a $9,000 mistake and ordered the wrong custom windows and they actually sent four of them and we only needed three of them, so they they technically made a $12,000 mistake. But luckily they are taking accountability for their mistake, so they're gonna get it taken care of for us. Back to the seed meeting. My biggest thing is, is always replace what you're removing, you know, and if we got low levels, should we be doing a build? Absolutely, let's work on it. But I don't wanna break the bank either. That was one thing I wanted to visit with Cole, you know, and you and just see yeah. What are our goals? Let's try this again. Well, 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 look what the cat drug in. Whoa, what do you got on your face? Ooh, I got some pit vipers. Those are the ugliest sunglasses <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, like you got the John Deere engineer back. He's here to steal some more ideas. Is that a diesel? Yes, sir. You got a name for it yet? I was thinking about Chevy. I was thinking Toyota. <laughs> Holy cow, that's like a little home theater right there. <laughs> you have less miles on Toyota than I have on Ford. Draw something for you. Feel free to say no to it, though. No. comments? Are you ready to learn the ins and outs of seed corn salesing? I was telling your dad, a lot of your guys' potassium levels are low. Okay. Phosphorus levels overall, don't get me wrong, there's some low spots in the field, mm -hmm. but the main thing is your K levels. K levels and your pH. How do you think the meeting went, Dad? It went really good. You tired of talking with us, Jamie? No. He's trying to pit viper dog. Yeah, he might be getting some. You know, like when pit viper guys are down here, they were eating corn like it was going out of style. It's like a pie eating contest. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fresh out of the ground. This is the best corn you can get. It's like candy corn, but like if you left it out for a long time. And not very sweet either. This one is not too fresh. If Jamie would put them pit vipers on, maybe he'd eat some corn. <laughs> <laughs> we're done with the seed meeting now, but it's, it's lunchtime. <laughs> oh, we ate way too much. Yeah. You guys doing? Yeah. Cooper beat me in some basketball, so. The hoop's still standing? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Allie. Yeah, good job, Zach. Trying to every way to win. <laughs> That's game, folks. Hey, Coop, you want to do trick shots? Yeah, let's do it. All right, Zach, you're up first. Running 360 slam dunk. This is called grabbing a Mountain Dew out of the fridge. Outside the shot. 
Hey Zach, do it from the grain tank in the combine. This is what real range is. Uh, all right, ready? Uh, Sitting down in the back of the shop with my eyes closed, turning backwards. Put in this nice uh, free throw here. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna roll the window up, otherwise it'd just be too easy. Oh, you want me to leave a crack? Hey Zach, coming to you. Call for two, sir. By the way, guys, the combine, the corn head, and the bean head are still for sale. We would like $30,000 for the package deal. That also includes the header trailers, and we have these two shelves full of combine parts. So if you're interested, my email is at the bottom of the video description. From a productivity standpoint, today was not a very productive day, but we still got some stuff done, and we got some time to relax. Days like today are important because what's the point of working all the time if I'm never gonna take any time out of my day to just enjoy? So we got the bin guys squared away, we got our seed order in, and we discussed our soil samples. And speaking of soil samples, I'm gonna explain that a little better. So this binder is full of the soil samples from every single one of our fields. This is a Google image of one of our fields, and then these dots represent two and a half acre grids, and they take a soil sample from each of these spots, and then they compile all the data together and put it into maps. So each field was tested for 27 different things. These tests are things like organic matter, pH, calcium, phosphorus, potassium, boron, zinc, magnesium. The list honestly goes on and on. But there's three main things that we are primarily focused on. The first one is the pH, or the acidity of the soil. This field has a pH of 5.4, which is particularly acidic because six and a half to seven is ideal for corn. If the soil's too acidic or too basic, it ties up nutrients that the plant can't use. So the more ideal the pH, the more nutrients are available for the plant to use. So looking at this map here, we have some low fours, we have some low fives, but then interesting enough, along the road, we have some sevens. So what we're able to do is take this soil map here and then we can see all the different pHs located throughout the field. So now we know what areas need lime. Farmers use lime to help make their soils more basic. So in the case of this field, we need to spread lime on it to get our pH from 5.4 up closer to seven. Remember how along the road has such high levels? Well, around here we have limestone roads. So when cars drive by, the dust ends up in the fields and it actually limes the field. This field's another example of it. We have a bunch of mid five pHs and then right along the road, got a bunch of sevens. But then the other two important factors that we're testing for are phosphorus and potassium also known as P and K. Think of P and K kind of like carbs and protein. If someone doesn't consume enough protein and carbs, they're not gonna grow to be very big. It works the exact same way with corn and soybeans. So we're gonna be able to take this information, plug it into an algorithm to make models for the fertilizer spreaders to go out into our fields so they'll be able to go to the areas that have low fertility and bump up the levels there, but then the areas that have high fertility, they're gonna put a lesser rate on. We call this variable rate application. This is actually the first time we've done variable fertilizer on Corn Star Farms. So we're gonna be putting some variable lime on, some variable P, and some variable K. There we go, that's Farming 101 with Cool the Corn Star. Now I'm gonna take a nap.